Hey, I'm Bobby. And when I was in the eighth grade, we had a school dance where the girls were supposed to ask the guys to go with them. Now, I hope that a particular girl would ask me to take her to the dance because I really liked her. And guess what? She asked me and I said yes. And y'all, I was so excited that I got my outfit ready weeks in advance, like weeks. A few days after she asked me to the dance, my school had a skate party and I met her dad for the first time. He introduced himself to me and we talked for a few minutes. After the skate party, the girl came up to me and told me that she couldn't go with me to the dance anymore. Y'all, I was so devastated that I didn't even go to the dance. I just stayed home and watched TV. And you know, I spent years wondering why things change all of a sudden. So when I saw her a few years later, I asked her why she didn't go to the dance with me. And she told me her dad wouldn't let me take her to the dance because I'm black. There was literally no other reason except the color of my skin. And at the time, I couldn't understand why. It was at that moment I started questioning so many things about myself. See, sometimes we don't always understand why people are unfair because of race. I couldn't understand why someone would do that to me. Like, will this be an issue I'll always deal with for the rest of my life?
If you've experienced unfair treatment because of your race like I did, I first wanna say it's totally not okay. And I'm really sorry you experienced that. But remember, you have the right to stand up for yourself. If you don't know where to start, try talking to someone you trust. Let them know what you're experiencing and how you're feeling. And remember, you're amazing just the way God made you. And you weren't created to doubt who you are or feel less than anyone else. Hi everyone, I'm Katie. I'm Japanese, but I'm fourth generation. So that means that my great-grandparents were born here in the United States where I was born, but then my great-great-grandparents were born in Japan. But I grew up here in the United States in a big city with lots of different people. When I was in school, I never really thought about racial tension much. To be honest, I wasn't aware of all the pain around this topic. Because my parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents grew up in the United States, it made me feel a little more disconnected from my Japanese culture. I knew I looked different than most of the people I was around, but I accepted myself and others just the way they were. And I was around kind-hearted people who did the same. I mean, all of my friends were of different races. It wasn't until I went to college that I really began learning about the hard realities of this issue. I learned that so many people were being affected by racism and racial tension, and honestly, I didn't know what to do about it. All I knew is that it made me feel really confused and really sad. I kept wondering, what exactly are people experiencing when it comes to racial tension?
If you feel like you don't know much about racial tension, know that you're not alone. I didn't know much about it either, but I committed to studying about this issue. I started reading more about this to get a better understanding. But even more than reading about racial tension, I began listening to some of my friends and asked them to share their stories with me. Hearing their experiences gave a new outlook on just how real this issue was. It's so important to listen to others and don't be afraid to ask respectful questions. Hey, middle schoolers, if this is your last room, go ahead and stop right here. But if not, go ahead and move to C35, room C35. I'll see you there.